Hey guys, Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about avalanches. Oh, I didn't know it was pronounced avalanches. I've been saying it wrong for years. You must be freezing. Even your face is blue. Everything on me is blue. What? Everything. Everything but that ski mask. The avalanche is going to think you're robbing it or something. Relax. I have a very charming personality. We have to be careful, though. Avalanches kill more than 150 people each year. I'm not scared at all. If it comes, I'll just turn it into a snowman. Good luck with that. Some avalanches are so big they can destroy entire villages. Mm, good point. Besides, I don't have a carrot for the nose. Wait a second, didn't you pack one in our bag? Yeah, I ate it. Wait, where is our bag? Yeah, I ate that too. Andy! Shh! Don't loud noises trigger avalanches. While that's true in movies, loud noises don't really trigger avalanches. But let's just be really quiet just in case. I can't! Why not? The communicator! It was in my bag! And? And you ate it! Wait a second, you ate a bag? Yep. Uh, like with a knife and fork? Yep. But why? Well, the better question is, why not? Hey, Mr. Anson Pants? What? It's avalanche. Whatever. I know loud noises don't really cause avalanches, but what really does cause them? Well, some avalanches just occur naturally, or by an animal's movement, while others can be caused by things like earthquakes, or most commonly wind. But a lot of avalanches are caused by things done by humans, like people skiing, gunshots, or man-made explosions. Remind me never to ski while shooting a gun or blowing stuff up. Hey, well, if you're ever on skis in an avalanche, you can just, like, ski your way out of there. Actually, you can't. Avalanches can reach speeds up to 80 miles per hour, while a skier can only reach speeds of about 27 miles per hour. You'd be crushed by the snow. Wow. Are there different types of avalanches? Yep. There are two main types, a loose snow avalanche and a slab avalanche. Well, what's the difference? A loose snow avalanche is simply loose snow that starts at a single point on a slope and gathers more snow on the surface as it falls down. This type of avalanche can bury a person, but won't cause too much damage. Well, I wouldn't mind being buried in snow. Andy, you'd be stuck and probably starve to death. No, I'd just keep making snow cones and eat them until the snow left. He's got a point. I mean, you'd run out of flavors after a while. There's only plain and yellow. I'm fine. I just uh, threw up in my mouth a little bit. The other type of avalanche called the slab avalanche is very dangerous. A slab avalanche is a really large slab of snow that slides as one big piece above softer snow underneath it. Slab avalanches can be as big as half a football field and are usually what causes the most death. Well, let's say I am trapped in the snow from an avalanche. Is there any way I could survive? Well, yeah. If you're trapped under snow and cannot get out, create an air pocket. Do this with any free hands you have to create a pocket of air near your nose and mouth. This can give you enough air for 30 minutes, which should hopefully give people some time to find you. You could also try to hold on to a tree or get out of the way, but those are no-brainers. Hmm, interesting. Are there any places where avalanches are more likely to occur? Of course. Avalanches are more likely to occur in mountainous areas with repeated heavy snowfall and on mountains that are up to 30 to 45 degree angles, which is pretty much places where people like to ski. But most avalanches occur within 24 hours after a storm drops 12 or more inches of snow. I am never going to wish for a snow day ever again. So, Mr. Golden Girls Blanche, let's say if a certain blue puppet wanted a snow day and wanted to trigger an avalanche, how would he do that? I thought you'd never ask. Here, look at this. Avalanches occur when a weak layer of snow fractures. 
this can be caused by a few things, but for this example, we'll say it's caused by more heavy snow pouring on top of it. Once the snow separates and can't hold its own weight, it begins to slide down a mountainside and becomes an avalanche. Whoa, cool. Hey, where's Andy? I want a snow day. I want a snow day. I want a snow day. Five minutes later. Andy, help me out of here. Oh, no way, man. It's too cold out there. I'm freezing out here. I'm starting to turn blue. What? Well, you're about to be black and blue if you don't get me out of here. You know what? I was going to make you a snow cone. But with an attitude like that, you can make your own. No! Andy! Come back! Andy! Andy! Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see my videos early, see behind the scenes pictures, watch my bloopers, or pick out my next topic, check out my Patreon. There's a link to it in the description box. All contributions, big and small, go towards the creation of more videos for kids. Special thanks to my current patrons, Zachary P, Alana Ben and Max, Caden, Ollie Eaton, Stasia Lanfear, Aaliyah Chan, Rebecca M, Sailing Soon, Dr. Jeff Vinegar, Michelle, Marlo S, Stevie R, Nicole F, Sandy C, Kyle D, Colin, Pilar, and Emily D. Hey, 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 hey,